This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Alright, Against the Odds time. Reveling in riches. In standard. And, I mean, I guess we keep this? We don't have any early interaction, but hopefully that's okay. So yeah, we'll give this a shot. Unclaimed territory, ooh. On Merfolk, oh my goodness, okay. Have not really seen much Merfolk. Well, that's Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Island for our opponent. And Branchwalker. Well, crack this, grab a swamp. Opponent gets to go exploring. And gets a forest. All right. Well, Tesseract could be good eventually. Let's Sanctum, pass the turn. Four is for our opponent. And Deep Root Waters. Gonna start going wide. Well, all right, cycle fed fetid pools. More fetid pools. Play Blooming Marsh. Run out Inspiring Statuary. Pass the turn. Whoo, see what our opponent can do. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of deep root waters. Good news is if we can find Bantu's Last Reckoning, things could go pretty good for us. Sanctum. Well, I think we just run out Tezzerat here and start making artifacts. Play Sanctum. Pass the turn. Well, do we find a Bantu's Last Reckoning? Two in the main. All right, Vine Shaper Mystic makes some Merfolk, pumps some Merfolk. We're actually going to need to find it super fast. Yup. Opponent gets in at us. Sure. Down to 13. And passes. Hmm. So kill Branch Walker. Play Blooming Marsh. Pass the turn. Plan on Spell Swindling. Basically, we'll Spell Swindle anything our opponent casts. Opponent. Going to kill Tezzeret. Yep, Tezzeret down. All right, River Sneak, yes. Not exciting, but we'll do what we gotta do. Counter, River Sneak. Opponent still gets the Hexproof Dorks. And passes. Oh! Oh, that's Bantu's Last Reckoning. Good golly. Um, okay. New plan. It involves winning the game. So, improvise out Revel and Riches. Bantu's Last Reckoning. Away our opponent's board. Get a few treasures, I say. Not quite enough to win the game yet. Play a Fetid Pools, pass the turn. We don't get to untap next turn. Unclaimed Territory on Merfolk. Wild Growth Walker, not a Merfolk. Branch Walker is a Merfolk. Okay. We only have one Bantu's Last Reckoning left, unfortunately. Bone Explores, gets a counter, gets a land, and passes. We draw Tezzeret. Pirate's Prize, get a treasure, draw some lands. Play Sanctum, pass the turn. Oh, we're so close. We're also so close to dying. Another Bantu's Last Reckoning, our last one would do it. Another Deep Root Waters. And Deep Root Champion. Yup. Ah, that's a lot of little merfolk. Oh, come on, deck. Come on. Pony gets in. Hits us for a bunch. Down to seven. Bantu's Last Reckoning, treasure map. So, cycle fetid pools. Search doesn't do it. Oh, so close. Well, that was a lot of deep root waters. Bring in our other Bantu's Last Reckoning. Bring in the essence extractions. Go down never. Go down. Maybe go down to one spell swindle. Try it like that. All right, we get to play first. And we get to mulligan first. All right, I mean, we'll keep this. We have Bantu's Last Reckoning. And a Revel in Riches, so we got our Wombo combo. Tezzeret, I think, has to go to the bottom. I think we need lands. Yeah, let's just Sanctum. Go. Opponent. Sanctum. Go. Island. Go. We do need land number three. Opponent. Gets down to Deep Root Champion. All right. Sanctum. Go. Hopefully this does not get too big too quick. There's the Deep Root Waters. Ugh. All right. Well, we do get to Pirate's Prize this turn. Opponent hits us. Down to 18. Another Revel. Well, let's Pirate's Prize. Whoa, whiff on lands. Yikes. Okay, pass the turn. Opponent plays a forest and wild growth walker and deep root champion. Well, if we don't draw black mana, we're going to be dead super quick. Down to 16. Land? Oh, no. Well, I think what we do is just play revel in riches and hope we get lucky. And by get lucky, I mean draw black mana. Opponent plays a land. Another wild growth walker. So I think we have two turns maybe maybe down to 11 opponent passes uh well this is how the dream dies to merfolk uh i thought that pirates prize would definitely find us lands but it did not happen are we just literally dead here i wouldn't be surprised if our opponent had a counter at this point opponent gets in with all the dorks 
not dead, but our opponent, we have to draw untapped black swords, and our opponent has to not have a counter. Treasure map, and that does it. Man, that seems like a matchup set up for Revel and Riches, too. Yikes. All right, against the odds time, playing some Bug Revel in standard. This hand's not bad. We have two treasure maps, and they are important. Ramen on bread, maybe? Well, play Sanctum, get down treasure map, pass the turn. Yep, definitely Ramen on bread. Opponent, oh, it's this version of Ramen on bread. Plays the Wily Goblin. Uh, yeah, let's upcreep Scry. Keep the land, play the land, play another treasure map, pass the turn. We need to get Tezzeret big enough to kill Hazeret. Opponent is playing treasure map. Interesting. Gets in with the Wily Goblin. <laughs> Watch their, like, splashing Revel and Ridges. So, play Fetid Pools, pass the turn. Opponent starts scrying. There's a mountain. And Uncrop Crasher gets in for four. Yeah, I think we're going to err on the side of doing this. Scry, Fetid Pools, bottom. Scry, Hazeret, bottom. And Fatal Push, Wily Goblin. Down to 16. Opponent passes. Yeah, let's scry and flip. And we'll keep Blooming Marsh. Play Blooming Marsh, pass the turn, leave up our Essence Extraction. As long as Tezzeret can deal with Hazorats, we should be okay. Bonus cries, almost to the point of flipping their treasure map. Charging Monstasaur, well, kill on Crop Crasher. Opponent gets in with Monstasaur for five. All right, Inspiring Statuary, bottom, untap, treasure map, search for his con to bottom. We draw. Well, play Inspiring Statuary, play Drowned Catacombs, play Tezzeret, kill Monstasaur, pass the turn. We can start cashing in our treasures to draw cards. All right, repeating Barrage to take down Tezzeret. Scries flips, get some treasure. Well, let's draw a card, untap, draw a card, treasure map, draw a card, land, play another treasure map, play the Swamp, pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. What is happening to us? Uh, we need to find Veraska pretty quick here. So let's first scry. Oh, Revel and Riches. We'll put it on top. But that is our namesake card. So cycle, get Revel, upkeep, treasure map, Valving Wilds to the bottom, draw land, sack a treasure, draw land. Oh, Dak, sack a treasure, draw Pirate's Prize, play Pirate's Prize. Play an island, pass the turn. All right, let's see how this works. I think we're going to get a lot of treasures, though. Oh, it's a Monstasaur? Okay. Well, counter the second Sunbird's Invocation. Actually, I think we're doing this wrong. Yeah, we'll take the Monstasaur hit for now. Counter Sunbird's Invocation. We have removal that can kill Monstasaur. Bone it. Gets in with Monstasaur. Down to nine. We're actually pretty close to just Revel and Riches winning. Opponent passes. Upkeep. Scry. Tezzeret's good. Put Tezzeret on top. Oh, man. Oh, man. This might be a win. Play Tezzeret. Opponent sacks a treasure. Yep. Kill Monstasaur. I guess we should have done this first, but we already have 10 treasures. Play Revel and Riches. Play the Swamp. Pass the turn. Oh, <laughs> uh, we definitely should have played Tezzeret. Revel and Riches before killing with Tezzeret. Phone it. Combustible Gear Hulk. Hits... Six cards, gets out of Pet Hunt Master, okay. All right, opponent can draw three. Captain Lannery Storm hits a Prying Blade, okay. That still does not kill us. Opponent goes attacking, yup, gets a treasure. Sacks a treasure, draws a card, okay. Yup, down to six. I think we got it. I can't imagine they can find enough damage. And our opponent scoops it up, a Revel and Riches. <laughs> Our opponent's deck is super spicy, but Revel and Riches taking down the win. Maybe just like a couple negates and try it like that. All right, we got a treasure map. Mountain for our opponent. Frasca's a minute or two away. Blooming Marsh Goo. Opponent. They're getting Wily. They're getting Wily. Wily Goblin gets a treasure. And Prying Blade off the treasure to make more treasures. Well, play Sanctum. Run out treasure map. Pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. We need lands. Hey, Captain Lannery Storm gets in, gets a treasure. Yup, yup. Well, upkeep scry for land. That is a land. 
Play Sanctum. Pass the turn. Not a great land. We might actually just be dying to this odd aggro start from our opponent. Cracks the treasure to equip Prying Blade. Another Wily Goblin. Yeah, we're actually kind of in trouble here. Opponent gets in for five or four. No Wily Goblin beats. Gets a treasure, gets a treasure. Well, upkeep, scry. Essence Extraction can't cast to the bottom. Tezzeret can't cast. Yeah, now we're dead. Well, we get to be on the play for game three. Opponent gets in with everything. More treasures. Hits us for a billion. Down to eight. More treasures. And passes. Well, let's try this one more time. Scry. Statuary bottom. Give some tre treasures. Evolving wilds. Well, play evolving wilds. Pass the turn. I guess we're not just dead. We can kill Lannery Storm finally. Buy four as well. Sack. 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 Kill Lannery Storm. That does undo a lot of our work. Yep. Treasure. Treasure. All right. Equips up a Wily Goblin. Gets in for two. Well, crack of Alving Wilds. Grab a Swamp. Back down to eight. Opponent gets more treasure. Cracking the treasures. Hunt Master. Well, that's Pirate's Prize. Ugh. Play Treasure Map. We whiffed on lands again. Pass the turn. Yeah, this is looking bad. More by forces. Opponent gets in for four. Gets a treasure. Yep. Another Hunt Master. Play the forest. Spiring Statuary. <sighs> Unfortunately, we got to do this now, and we can't wait to get down Revel and Riches. Blow up the board. Hope our opponent doesn't have anything for two turns. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Nothing for turn one. Evolving Wilds go. Another Prying Blade, sure. The problem is Monstasaur just totally kills us. Get a land. Untap. Drown Catacombs. Well, let's draw a couple cards. Play Drown Catacombs. Run out for Asuka. Make it 2-2. Still dead to Monstasaur this turn. If we make it one more turn, we're not. Monstasaur. Yep. Oh, not dead. Unless our opponent has a burn spell in hand, which I guess is not impossible. We block. Drop to one. Oh, what a, what a draw for our opponent. What a draw! What a draw, what a draw. All right, well... We knew we were dead if they top decked it, and they did. All right, well, maybe we bring in the Veraska's Contempts, I guess. Maybe we forget the Negates. If they're going to be playing Sunbird's Invocation, then I guess have at it. We get to play first. I guess we keep this. Hope we draw lands. Play Fetid Pool. We only need one lands to get to our Pirate's Prizes. Mountain for our opponent. And Prying Blade. Land, please. All right, Evolving Wilds past the turn. Mountain for our opponent, and Wily Goblin. Well, crack this. Dragon Island. Opponent passes. Well, Blooming Marsh, run out, Inspiring Statuary. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Captain Lannery Storm. Gonna get in and get a treasure. Yep. We draw. Treasure map. Well, we need to Pirate's Prize, I think, to hit our lands here. Play Fetid Pools. Pass the turn. Opponent has Monstasaur. Okay. Gets in for a bunch. Well, hopefully we just draw a land. Tezzeret. Plus Tezzeret. Make an artifact. Bantu's Last Reckoning. Botanical Sanctum. Pass the turn. Opponent. <laughs> Burning Sun's Avatar. Okay. Well, that puts us pretty much to dead. Maybe the jank is real, but it is certainly jank to the max. Ooh, all right. Now we live, plus Tezzeret, make an artifact. Pass the turn, leave up Veraska's Contempt. Buy force, all right, well, sacrifice, sacrifice, tap, tap. Get rid of Burning Sun's Avatar. We do lose our Statuary. Opponent passes, and we could ultimate Tezzeret. Let's not ultimate yet, let's take up Tezzeret, play Fetid Pools, and let's just pass. Leave up Spell Swindle. On Crop Crasher. All right. Not a huge target, but good enough that we will spell swindle it. And Treasure Map. Well, now we probably go Tezzeret Ultimate. Yeah, let's Pirate's Prize. Ultimate Tezzeret. Play Drown Catacombs. Play Treasure Map. Start making five fives. I don't think we can attack yet, though, because it's too easy to lose to a Monstasaur. Bonus Grise. Plays a land. Hunt Master. Out of cards. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we should have scried. Oops. Uh, that's all right. Take up Tezzeret. Definitely should have scried, though. Pirate's Prize. 
There's Revelin Ridges. Play Treasure Map. Play Evolving Wilds. Keep making five fives. All right, pass the turn. Next turn, we can start attacking. Opponent, Wily Goblin. Get some treasure. Sure. Rise with Treasure Map. Opponent passes. Well, Crack Evolving Wilds. Get a Swamp. Scry with Treasure Map. Another Tezzeret. I think we keep that on top, actually. Sack an Ethereum Cell. Get a counter on Treasure Map. Put on top. Untap. Kill Hunt Master. Play Tezzeret. Kill Wily Goblin. Play Treasure Map. Play Sanctum. Fire up a Treasure Token. Get in for 10. And, I mean, we're not reveling in riches this game by the looks, but it looks like we're going to sneak out a win, potentially. Opponent gets the flip, so they have lots of treasure, but only one card in hand. And we got the GGs? Whew. Well, our opponent's brew was super spicy, but a win's a win for reveling riches. We will take it. All right. Okay. Uh Against odds time, reveling in ridges in standard. And we'll try this mostly since search for his Kanta, one of the two drops we really want. Dragon Skull Summit. And let's just Fetid Pools past the turn. Opponent. Island. Ooh, Grixis Control. Oh, all right. Our opponent might be reveling as well. Interesting. Well, we have our revels in spades. Let's get down search for his Kanta. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gets in with Hoarder. Down to 18 passes all right search for his Kanta gives us fetid pools i think we keep fetid pools play blooming marsh pass the turn island for our opponent it's in with hoarder for two all right we'll take it and let's cycle fetid pools see if we can hit a yeah untap land that's good um we'll keep the island play the island pass the turn we're getting close to doing fun things opponent gets in with hoarder all right down to 14 all right, let's Fatal Push Hoarder. Didn't want to give them their treasure main phase so they could play a Tezzeret or something. Search for his Kanta. Yeah, we'll mill never to return. Play the Swamp, pass the turn. All right, tap land for our opponent. Trove of Temptation. Well, I mean, we're going to counter that. I don't know if it's necessary, but we will. Opponent passes. Search. Yeah, we'll mill the land here. Get another land. Uh, yeah, let's get down Revel. Play Revel and Riches. Play Blooming Marsh. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gifted Aetherborn. All right. That's fine. Um, I think we'll keep Tezzeret. Play Tezzeret. Kill Gifted Aetherborn. Get another treasure. Play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Next turn, we get to flip our search for his Kanta. And that should be good. Opponent. Hoarder. Yup. Dies to Tezzeret. That's like the new dies to Doomblade. <laughs> Crack it, grab a island, I guess. Search. Uh, no. Well, let's Pirate's Prize. I guess we had to mill it there if we wanted to flip. But I also like drawing two with Pirate's Prize. Let's just make some mana. Play Blooming Marsh. And pass the turn. Our opponent really wants their mana. Kills her own thing. Gives us a treasure and them a treasure. Opponent passes. All right, what are we milling? Oh, I love you, Veraska, but we want to flip. So mill, transform, tick up Tezzeret, play Blooming Marsh, pass the turn. We're definitely out-reveling our opponent by quite a bit. Ether Hub for our opponent. Another Hoarder. Well, let's go digging. Take Essence Extraction. Play Catacombs. Play Revel and Riches. Kill Hoarder. Up to nine! Nine treasures achieved! We're one treasure away from the win. And yeah, let's just wait. We'll pass. Opponent passes. All right, let's keep digging. Uh, there's Pirate's Prize. Well, we'll take Pirate's Prize. That is Treasure 10 if it resolves. Untap. All right, now we're going to search to see if we can hit a counter. Oh, or just another Pirate's Prize works. Take up Tezzeret. Pirate's Prize. Opponent counters. Get some treasure. Well, we got another one, though. Pirate's Prize number two for Treasure 10. Usually I'm excited about drawing cards, but this time we got there. There's the 10. And we get to win the game twice on our upkeep. <laughs> oh, well, let's see if our opponent has a way out of this. I mean, I don't know how they would, but you never know. Uh-oh. Oh, dear lord. Oh. Oh. Oh, Revel! Uh, yep. Okay. That's unfortunate. There's no way out of this, right? 
Oh, all of our work for nothing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, now that we see what our opponent's doing, bring in Veraska's Contempt to kill our opponent's Marionette Master. Go down a Bountu's Last Reckoning. Oh, I can't believe that just happened to us. Maybe we go down a Fatal Push and try it something like that. All right, we get to play first. And I guess we keep this. We got Tezzeret. That's something. Uh, yeah, we'll Fetid Pools. Pass the turn. Bonant leads on a Swamp and rests. Takes Tezzeret. Well, let's get down our treasure map here. Pass the turn. Oh, I can't believe we lost that first one. Swamp for our opponent and passes. Oh, play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. And Captain Lannery Storm. Well, crack this. Grab an island. Do some scrying. Uh, gotta put Spell Swindle to the bottom. We really want to hit a land here. Bonin gets in. Gets a treasure. And I think we have to upkeep scry for a land. Bit risky. Means this Lannery Storm might be living. Revel to the bottom. That is not a land. Evolving Wilds is, but it's not the land we were hoping for. Pass the turn. Evolving Wilds for our opponent. Gets in with Lannery Storm. Yup. Down to 16. Well, crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a Swamp. Upkeep. Scry. Statuary Bottom. Flip around. Play Blooming Marsh. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Gets an Island. And Cycles. Well, I think this is time to Essence Extract Lannery Storm. Back up to 19. There's a mountain for our opponent. Kite Sail Freebooter. Eh, has a couple options, I guess. Takes Varaska and passes. Hmm. Yeah, let's kill Freebooter. Play Sanctum. Pass the turn. Leave up our Spell Swindle. Trove of Temptation. Okay. Opponent starts making treasure every turn. Let's draw a card. Play Statuary. Pass the turn. Next turn, we should be able to get down our Vraska. Revel and Riches. Well, yeah. Maybe our opponent has a negate or something, but we got to go for it. Yeah, opponents cashing in their treasures for Lookout's Dispersal. All right. Good news is we just get to Vraska and kill it. Revel and Riches. Or Trove of Temptation. We draw Treasure Map. So play Treasure Map. Play Vraska. Destroy Revel and Riches. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. Two cards in hand. Opponent gets a treasure. Well, let's scry. Extraction bottom. Sack of treasure. There's Revel. Well, take up Veraska. Play a swamp. Run out Revel and Ridges. And pass the turn. Opponent has Freebooter. We'll just Fatal Push it. Get a Revel token. Up to three treasures. Opponent looks at our empty hand. Opponent passes. Well, treasure map. Land to the bottom. Sack a treasure. Draw the land we just put to the bottom. Treasure map. Flip around. Bantu's last reckoning to the bottom. Another revel. Well, I think we destroy Trove. Play drown catacombs. And run out revel. Number two. Pass the turn. We're pretty close. We are pretty close to closing this out. Opponent passing. Well, draw a card. Ooh, Spell Swindles. That is a good one. That is one of the ones we want. Oh, double Spell Swindle. Well, make a pirate. Well, now if our opponent casts stuff, we win. If they cast something big, we just Spell Swindle for victory. Uh, all right, we're going to keep sacking. It puts us farther away from winning, but drawing cards is also good. Land, land, land. Play Drown Catacombs. Take up Vraska. Get in with our Menacey Pirate. Hit our opponent. And pass the turn. I feel like we're in pretty good shape here. Opponent. Passing. Well... Hopefully we draw into more things that make treasures. Ooh, or s search is a good one. Sack sack, double search. Well, play search for his Kanta. Make a pirate. Play a land. Get in with our pirates for four. And pass the turn. Opponent has not done anything in quite a while. Opponent's passing. Well, cycle fetid pools. Treasure map suite. I guess we sack our last treasure. Ooh, pirate's prize. All right. Search for his Kanta. Yes, we'll mill Revel number three. Flip it around. Well, take up Veraska. Maybe we're just winning with Veraska ultimate. Hit our opponent. Play treasure map. Spell swindle. Okay. It's a couple treasures. Well, play Sanctum. Pass the turn. I mean, with double spell swindle, we should be okay. 
All right, there's Master, so we spell Swindle. Opponent counters. Uh, let's spell Swindle. <laughs> we're still short. Opponent <laughs> scoops it up. Oh, we're so close to Verasca Ultimate. We're so close to winning in so many different ways. That would have been nine treasures, so we would have been one treasure short of winning. Opponent didn't seem to have many creatures that game somehow, when before they seemed to have like a million. Let's bring in Doomfall over Bantu's Last Reckoning. Go down Fatal Push for Negate, and Fatal Push for Duress? And maybe we go down all the Fatal Pushes. Essence Extraction is also not great. Duress, Negate, Duress. Alright, let's try it like that. The minimal actual removal plan uh this and not keepable yeah we gotta ship it eh, i guess we keep this pirates prize to the bottom mana very awkward none of our good two drops all right fetid pools go at least that's blue mana swamp for our opponent and freebooter i guess that's a reason to keep in removal opponent takes our card draw well blooming marsh go oh dear uh, the sideboarding plan is coming back to really haunt us. I guess we should have left in our removals. Opponent hits us, gets a treasure. Play Sanctum. Oh dear. Yeah, I think we're pretty dead. Well, at least our opponent is not familiar with the legend rule. That makes our life easier. <laughs> Got him. We're still super dead, but it's the little things. Opponent gets in. So I don't even know what we're hoping to draw here. That's how dead we are. Down to 14. Sacks of treasure. Wow. All right. Uh, sure. We draw more lands. Yeah, well, it felt like our opponent sideboarded out all of their creatures, or most of their creatures, but maybe they just sideboarded them all back in and got us. Opponent hits us. Down to nine. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Where was all this last? Oh, all right. And we draw more lands. Wow, did they get us with that sideboarding plan, apparently. Yikes. Oh. Uh Okay, well, outjanked, unfortunately. Whew. All right, against the odds time, reveling in riches, in standard, and uh, this hand. We're going to try this. The upside is high. Mountain for our opponent, and passes. And there's a blue mana. All right, play the forest, pass the turn. I guess a braid is still an issue, now that we see we're up against red. Bonant, mountain, earthshaker, and fatal push. Well, let's island, run out Inspiring Statuary, pass the turn. There's a mountain for our opponent, and Pianilar, interesting, passes. Well, I think we just run out this Tezzeret, tick up, make an artifact, pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent, and on Crop Crasher. Well, we said it would be annoying, and it is. Killing Tezzeret, yep. Valving Wilds is good. Evolving Wilds means we get to run out Revel in Riches. Play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. And now we're set up to maybe Bantu's Last Reckoning, depending on what our opponent does. There's a Glory Bringer. Opponent hits us for a billion. Well, crack Evolving Wilds, grab our Swamp. Now we have to Bantu's Last Reckoning, I think. Bantu's Last Reckoning, sweep the board, get a bunch of mana, play a Swamp. And I think we just pass for now. Yeah, pass this turn. Leave up extraction. On Crop Crasher for our opponent. Goes to combat. Yeah, so kill that. Gain a bit of life. We get back one of our treasures. Wow. Opponent Magma sprays it. Interesting. Well, I guess we gotta run out this Verasca. Run out Verasca. Make a pirate. Play Sanctum. Pass the turn. See what our opponent's got. There's a land, so they can get back their on crop crasher. All right, they just go with Hazorat, which means we need to draw a Tezzeret. Opponent gets in. We block. See what we draw. Another Revel. We'll play Revel. Make a pirate. Pass the turn. Let's see. Just getting back Earthshaker does not kill us. Okay. Opponent has to hit Faraska. Yup, hits Faraska. We draw, Fetid Pools, well, Cycle Fetid Pools, more lands, blow up Earth Shaker, add to our treasure pile, pass the turn. <laughs> Come on, Tezzeret, Tezzeret off the top. We have so much mana. Earth Shaker Kenra makes it so we can't block. Earth Shaker Kenra, now we might, wow, okay, that's a lot of Earth Shaker Kenras for our opponent. Hits us, kills Veraska. Well, we need 
something very good this turn. Pirate's Prize. Well, that's some redraws. And a treasure. Veraska. Ugh. Veraska can't kill Hazarat. So run out Veraska. Make a pirate. Play Blooming Marsh. Pass the turn. I don't know if this is enough. Discards a Hazarat. Down to three. And something else. All right. Opponent passes. Opponent... We're not dead yet. Goes attacking, goes attacking, goes attacking. So block and block. Does this does this give us enough? No. Are we one treasure short? Is that where we're at? And we draw Evolving Wilds? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that does it. Yep. Oh, wow. Wow, nine and nine treasures. All right. So bring in Veraska's Contempt to deal with Hazarets. Bring in Essence Extraction to deal with everything. Go down some of the slow stuff. A couple of spell swindles. Never to return. And what else? A Veraska. Let's try it like that. All right. We're on the play. And it uh, looks like we're on the mulligan. All right. I don't know if this hand is enough against Ramen on Bread. Gotta keep Fatal Push. Blooming Marsh. Goo. Opponent. Mountain. And Soul Scar Mage. Well, play Sanctum, pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. And Earthshaker Kendra. Well, yeah. Let's kill Earthshaker. Opponent gets in for one. We draw. Alright, well, Treasure Map isn't the literal worst draw. Pass the turn. It at least helps us scry for a land. There's a Bonded Courier. Opponent gets in for two. Down to 17. Well, let's scry. Definitely keeping Sanctum. Play Sanctum, pass the turn. Opponent. All right, gets in for two. We take it, down to 15. All right, we get to Scry. Yeah, let's go bottom. Stop on our upkeep. Scry, flip. Pirate's prize, bottom. Well, I mean, I think we just run Veraska out there using all of our treasures. Seems reasonable. Eight loyalty is a lot on this board. Play the land, pass the turn. Opponent goes. At, are they going to cash in their courier? Discard seven to draw three. That does not seem like a wise plan. Wow. Okay. That's not normally how you see bonded courier work, but that's fine. Opponent passes. Well, let's play Revel. Blow up Soul Scar Mage. Start getting some artifact mana, and we'll just pass. Opponent discarded all of their biggest cards. Urshaker Kendra. Okay. Yup. Can't block. Gets into Veraska. Sure. And passes. Well, take up Veraska. Play Tezzeret. Kill Urshaker Kendra. Get a treasure. Pass the turn. No attacks. Staying on defense. Opponent. Lightning Strike. Probably gonna kill Tezzeret. Yep, Tezzeret down. Now, well, let's draw a card. Um, well, run out another Revel in Riches. Make another Pirate. Play Evolving Wilds. I guess we start pirating in for a bit of damage. Still leave two back. Pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. And Glory Bringer. All right, gets it for Raska. Crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a Swamp. Sack a Treasure. Fatal Push does not get Glory Bringer. Ooh, Search. All right, well, we're going to cash in Veraska. Kill Glory Bringer. Get some treasures. Play Search. Play Tezzeret. Make a non treasure treasure. Get in with a Pirate. And pass the turn. Four treasures at the moment. Thankfully, our opponent isn't doing much of anything. Here comes Earthshaker. Well, we can actually trade our Ethereum cell for two treasures. Actually netting mana off of this exchange. Opponent passes. Search. We won't mill treasure map. Instead, we'll play treasure map. Scry with treasure map. Forest to the bottom. Take up Tezzeret. Get in with a pirate. Pass the turn. We need to kill two more creatures to get to 10 treasures. Another Earthshaker. All right, let's cycle Fetid Pools. And I guess we just chump. Chump Earthshaker. Search, mill, flip. Oh, we're going for it. Kill Earthshaker. Two treasures. Search for his Kanta. Come on, something that gets us treasures. Uh, Pirate's Prize does not get us two treasures. We will cast it though. Play Fetid Pools. Menace in with a pirate. Oh, we're so close. We need our opponent to play any four converted mana cost or less creature. Yes, that does it. We got there. So Sacatherium Cell. Kill Pianilar. 
And that does it. Opponents groups it up. They're gonna get <laughs> gonna get reveled. Well, our opponent's draw was super odd and clunky, but we'll take a win against Ramen on Bread. Pretty much any way we can get it. Uh, all right. This is actually a pretty reasonable hand for the matchup, thanks to Essence Extraction. Opponent, land, go. We'll play the Swamp, past the turn. Sunscorch Desert for our opponent. And her Shaker Kenra. Yep. Opponent gets in for two. Uh, yeah, we're going to get down Search. It might be greedy, but we're going to go for it. Pass the turn. All right, opponent gets in for two. Down to 15. Ooh, and passes. All right, we might be stealing this win. We will mill Pirate's Prize, draw land, play Drown Catacombs, play Treasure Map, pass the turn. Lightning Strikes are face down to 12, sure. There's a land for our opponent, and on Crop Crasher. Well, this means we need to Fatal Push Earthshaker. Opponent gets in, down to 9, mill Search, play the land, and I think we just pass here, pass the turn. Land number 4 goes to combat attacks so let's essence extraction now yeah, we might as well scry <sighs> sorry revel we really need a land here we need land to counter our opponent's five drop yes mill revel uh well play pirate's prize draw a couple cards play blooming marsh pass the turn lightning strikes our face what do they got on crop crasher okay oh lordy 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 Yup, hits us, down to six, passes, search, mill the treasure map, flip. All right, play Drown Catacombs, play Tezzeret, tick up, make an artifact, pass the turn. Wow, this is going to be close. Opponent shocks us to four. One card in hand. Earthshaker Kenra, okay. Opponent goes attacking, goes at us, goes at us. The question is, can we play around a lightning strike? I think the answer is yes. So get rid of On Crop Crasher. Go up to six. Earthshaker hits us. Down to four. Opponent out of cards, plays a land. What do we do? Play Pirate's Prize. Ooh, Fatal Push is good. Take up Tezzeret. Play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Just a land for our opponent. There's Earthshaker. So, Fatal Push Earthshaker, take two, we're going to cash in some mana here for Search, Search for his Kanta, take Veraska's Contempt, that's a good one, take two, Crack Evolving Wilds, grab a Swamp, take up Tezzeret, Veraska's Contempt Earthshaker, back up to four, out of Lightning Bolt range, Lightning Strike range, pass the turn, oh my goodness, this is close, carry Zev, okay, resolves, Search, Take Inspiring Statuary, Essence Extraction Carry Sev, take up Tezzeret, play Statuary, pass the turd. Ramen up Ruins, sure. Alright, let's go dig in for Revel. Uh, we'll just take Fatal Push. Actually don't just want our opponent to scoob, I actually want to win with Revel and Riches. Take up Tezzeret, play the land, pass the turd. Opponents going Desert Damage, hits us down to 5. Plays the land. Well, let's keep searching for our Revel. There's Revel and Ridges. We'll take it. So take up Tezzeret. Play Revel. Pass the turn. Opponent's going to cash in Ramen Up Ruins. Opponent cashes it in. Down to three. Scavenger Grounds. Sure. I probably wish they kept that Ruins. Take a Revel. Revel number two. Oh, we're getting close. Play Sanctum. Take up Tezzeret. Now we actually want our opponent to draw creatures. As weird as that sounds. Run out Revel number two. So we can play treasure map. Pass the turn. Oh man, are we getting it? We are at three, which is a bit sketchy. Opponent plays a land. Search for his Kanta. All right, revel number three. Can never have too many revels. Treasure map. Tezzeret to the bottom. Take up Tezzeret. Play Evolving Wilds. Revel number three. That's the last one in our deck. We're getting so close. Pass the turn. Oh man, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Opponent's passing. Well, Crack of Alving Wilds. Grab a Swamp. Search for his Kanta. Bantu's Last Reckoning, I guess. Scry with Treasure Map. We will keep Pirate's Prize. Play Pirate's Prize. Get a treasure. Up to number two. Play Island. Take up Tezzeret. Pass the turn. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Come on, play a creature about it. Opponent's passing. I'll search for his Kanta. Lightning Strike. Well, we gotta counter that. 
So counter the lightning strike. Search for his Kanta. Gets us an essence extraction. Scry with treasure map. Fetid pools, bottom. Seven treasures. Untap. Now we got an ultimate Tesseract. Because we need essence extraction targets. Go to combat. Make an Ethereum cell into a 5-5. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent is not gonna... Alright, we gotta do this the hard way. Ascanta whiffs. Lands to the bottom. Cycle Fetid Pools. Do we have the ability to make enough treasures? Oh, there's treasure map. Play treasure map. Now we do. Play Sanctum. Scry with treasure map. Land to the bottom. We're so close. Ethereum cell becomes a 5-5. Five five. No attacks. Take up Tezzeret. Pass the turn. Play a creature opponent. A creature. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, opponent! <laughs> oh, well, we got the win over Ramen on Fred, so we'll take it. But I really wanted the Rebel win. Oh, all right. Well, good enough, I guess. <laughs> oh, that was pretty sweet either way. All right, against the odds time, looking to Rebel in Mulligans. Yeah. In standard. We're going to keep this because we have two really good two drops. If we just find one land of any type, then we should be good. So scry statuary to the bottom. Because either treasure map or search for his Kanta should make sure we hit our land drops. Swamp for our opponent. And passes. Alright, that works. Blooming Marsh, treasure map. Pass the turn. Now we can just upkeep scry to make sure we keep hitting our lands. Or attempt to at least. Bone it. Drown catacombs. Yeah, let's upkeep scry. Definitely keeping Sanctum. Play Sanctum. And, yeah, I mean, we're running it out. Search for his Kanta. If they got a sensor or negate, then, eh. They have a sensor. All right. Well, we got it out of their hand, at least. Pass the turn. Looks like blue-black control if they have sensor. Opponent plays a land. And passes. Well, let's keep scrying for lands. Drunk Catacombs. Keep it. Play the land. Pass the turn. Opponent. Ooh, misses their land drop. Well, let's stick to the plan. Treasure map. I think we'll put it to the bottom to try to hit a land. There's a land. Play the land. Pass the turn. Now we're super far ahead on mana, which is nice. Opponent finds land number four, so they can glimmer at some point. Opponent passes. We draw. Pirate's prize. Yeah, let's just pirate's prize. Sack of treasure. See if we can hit a land. All right, pass the turn. Not going to cash in all of our treasures to cast Tezzeret. What do you got, opponent? Nothing. Okay. What's our opponent discard? Essence Extraction. Sure. Now let's do the same thing. Pirate's Prize. Play Sanctum. Pass the turn. Opponent. Passing. Hey, poor opponent. Well, let's keep drawing cards. We can always make more treasures. Frosca's Contempt discarded, so definitely looks like blue-black control of some kind. Pirate's Prize. Play land. And now I think we're going to run out Tezzeret. Run out Tezzeret. Start making artifacts. And we'll just discard Bantu's Last Reckoning here. Bonus Bazin. Essence Extraction discarded. Yeah, take up Tezzeret. Play Inspiring Statuary. Pirate's Prize. Four one real mana. Play Drown Catacombs. Pass the turn. Man, if we can just revel in riches. Search for Ezkanta. Yeah, I guess we spell swindle that. Get some more treasures. Man, this probably just closes out the game, actually. Yeah, opponent scoops it up. Sweet. Well, we never found our revel, but our opponent missing. Wow, opponent scoops the match. Uh, okay, well, uh, we'll take it. <laughs> opponent apparently does not like blue-black control. Hmm, who would have thought? All right, against the odds time, looking to revel in riches in standard. And I guess we'll keep this. No real payoffs, but we got some removal. All right, Evolving Wilds, go. Swamp for our opponent. Lay bear of the heart. All right, takes revel. Well, Crack of Valving Wilds, grab an island. And well, let's Blooming Marsh pass the turn. Pirate's Pies is not a bad draw. Opponent, Swamp, and passes. Run out, Inspiring Statuary. If they got a counter, they got a counter. Ooh, no counter. Okay, that's good. What is our opponent doing? Champion of Wits. Digging for some lands. Ooh, all right. Oh, okay. So this is like a Esper Marionette Master deck. Interesting. Well, play the Swamp, and Pirate's Prize, there's a Revel, and let's just pass the turn. Island for our opponent, gets in with the champion, opponent passes, hmm, well, let's play Evolving Wilds, and I think we just gotta pass for now, opponent, 
Gets in for two with champion. All right. Crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a Swamp. And kill champion. Let's see what our opponent has. Opponent passes. Treasure Map is sweet. Let's play Treasure Map. Play Blooming Marsh. And we're just going to pass for now. Still don't want to let anything big get countered by Spell Swindle. Need our opponent to tap down. But we get to start scrying, which is nice. Opponent finds Evolving Wilds. Or just find our own Spell Swindle. Scry with Treasure Map. Eh, do not need another Inspiring Statuary. There's Spell Swindle. Play an Island. Run out Revel and Riches. If our opponent Spell Swindles and we Spell Swindle, then we're actually super close to winning with Treasure Map. Yes! Spell Swindle your Spell Swindle? <laughs> yes! Yes! That's a lot of treasures! Opponent cracks Evolving Wilds. Sure. So we're up to six treasures. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Pass the turn. We can get three from Treasure Map. Opponent plays a tap land. Runs out Marionette Master, which we can't actually kill at the moment. Puts the counters on it. All right, so we scry with Treasure Map. Frosco would be sweet. Or Tezzeret. Ooh, Tezzeret. All right. Keep Tezzeret. Draw Tezzeret. Play Tezzeret. Kill Marionette Master, get a treasure, Pirate's Prize, and we actually have the win next upkeep. Yup, play a land, pass the turn, we got, I think we got it. Oh, I don't think we, I think we gotta wait one more turn actually. Opponent cracks. Oh, we're so close. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, but I don't think it will trigger this upkeep, we'll see. Stop on our upkeep, treasure map. Yeah, the beginning of our upkeep is already passed, land to the bottom. We have enough treasures. Play the forest. Make a non-treasure treasure with Tezzeret. Uh, pass the turn. I mean, can you kill us or our treasures this turn, opponent? Or Revel and Riches. The countdown is on for the Revel win. I think we might have it. Phone it. Phone it. What do you got, opponent? Scoops it up. Cannot beat the Revel and Riches. <laughs> spell Swindle, your Spell Swindle. That was pretty good. So what do we learn this week about Revel and Riches in Standard? And overall, the deck functioned pretty well. Although we did run into some weird matchups. The Treasure Red Sunburns Invocation deck. We ran into Merfolk. We did play some real decks too. Esper Tokens legit deck. We ran into Ramen on Brad, Blue Black Control. So we played like half and half brews and real decks but we finished winning four of our six matches which is pretty good oh we did win the esper tokens match at the end i cut it off because nothing exciting happened in the second game and we were already getting kind of long as far as time basically our opponent lost legacy our revel and riches right off the bat and then we just won with tezzeret and Veraska. so we didn't really do any sweet revel and riches stuff but anyway we finished four out of our six matches with wins which is like 66 percent as far as games we won eight out of 14 which which is like 57%, so slightly above average, and we did get a reasonable amount of pseudo Revel and Ridges wins. I don't think we ever actually saw the you win the game trigger go on the stack, because our opponents would just scoop during their turn. They would see the 10 treasures, they would see that they were about to die to Revel and Ridges, and do the scoop before we actually got to see the trigger, but a lot of our wins did come by that. I think close to half of our wins were because we had Revel and Ridges, along with tre treasure tokens, and I was also impressed with the rest of the deck. Treasure Map is a surprisingly powerful card. It's much better than it looks. The combination of Treasure Map and Search for Iskanta means we have six total copies of things that are so strong on turn two that really put you ahead just as far as card filtering and eventually card advantage. And then, Inspiring Statuary, I was a little nervous because of a braid, but maybe that's not something to fear. Like, yes, a braid is a thing, sometimes it'll bl get blown up, and that's frustrating, but the explosiveness it adds to the deck where we can tap all of our treasures to draw cards with Pirate's Prize, make more treasures, tap them to play Planeswalkers and Revel and Riches and Spell Swindles is really, really strong. So, overall, I was super impressed with the deck. I thought it was really fun, it was unique, we did get Revel and Riches win, however, I do want to point out the downside of Revel and Riches, and that is, it might just be a worse version of Marionette Master. Like, if you took this exact same deck, and you put Marionette Master in the Revel and Riches slot, we might have just won even more, because the thing is, Revel and Riches needs 10 treasures to win, Marionette Master only needs 4 treasures to win, so that's a lot of treasure difference. Like, you need much more of bounty or booty to win the game with Revel of Riches than you do with a Marionette Master, so that's something to consider, but... Th 
that's going to be the case in basically any deck in standard playing Revel and Riches. There's always this competition, and that might be the reason why Revel and Riches doesn't really see much tournament level play, is Marionette Master is often just going to be better at doing the same thing. But I think the deck was super sweet. It functioned well. We posted a pretty good record. We had a lot of fun things happen. We got some Revel and Riches wins, so overall... Can't complain. It was super sweet. Anyway, that's been our Against the Odds for this week. Revel in Riches for Standard. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.